ask you guys a question. How many of you can remember your favorite children's book? Anybody? All right, Sophia, what about you? Uh, the Giving Tree. <coughs> giving Tree. Anybody else have one? Mm -hmm. I like to uh, Where the Wild Things Go. Oh, where the Wild too. Things You too? Any other ones? Uh, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Cool. Those are all great books. And I think through this, we can tell that children's books have a really huge possibility of influence on a person. They can really shape how a kid sees the world, and especially how they see their place in it. And so the goal of my capstone project was to harness this really incredible power and to direct it towards one specific topic, which is climate change. <coughs> And climate change, unfortunately, is one of the biggest threats that our planet faces today. And it can cause forest fires, it can cause droughts, and even sea level rise that threatens to displace millions of people. And climate change is really an issue that affects every single person on this planet. And it's affecting people right now, but it's especially going to affect a lot of people in the future. So what can we do about something that seems so scary and overwhelming? Well, one of the most important things to do is to teach children for the future. So these children are the ones who are going to be most affected by climate change, and so it's really important that they have the skills to deal with that. So today I am going to talk to you about three things. The first, why it is so important to teach kids about climate change. The second, how we can go about doing this. And third, how my capstone project, an illustrated children's book, will go about these things. So our first question, if you can read that, is why? Why is it so important to teach kids about climate change? Well, I work at the New England Aquarium where we talk about climate change all the time. And one of the most insightful things that I've learned there is how little people actually know. We have an activity about climate change that I always start off just by asking the people who are there, have you heard of climate change? What do you already know about it? Do you know any causes, any results? And I'm just continuously really, really shocked by the fact that while most people have heard of climate change, very few people have any kind of working knowledge about it. They can't tell you the science behind it. They can't tell you what all the factors going into it are. It's just really, really minimal knowledge. And this is really troubling. Um, it's really scary because these adults, these people, who don't really know much at all about climate change are the ones who are making all of the decisions for our country. They're the ones who are voting in, in national elections. And they're also the ones who are controlling their own lives. So they're controlling their decisions and how they're acting towards the environment. And if they don't know too much about the decisions that they're making, that doesn't look too good for us. So this is why it is really, really important to teach children, because they are going to be the leaders of the future. And we really want leaders who are going to be educated and who are going to be aware of their own impact on the environment. And so they can hopefully, number one, adapt to some of the effects of climate change, but then also work to mitigate a lot of the effects. Um, and hopefully those two things together can create a future where maybe we're a little bit more thinking about our effects on the environment. So this brings us to the second question, which is how. How do we go about teaching children? This is a really, really huge topic, and it can be kind of scary to approach, and it can be kind of scary for a kid to learn about, because no one wants to hear that the future is just going downhill and all these terrible things are going to happen if we don't do something about it. Um, but I believe that it can actually be really easy and really fun to teach kids about climate change. <coughs> And my favorite way to do that is art. I think that art has a really, really extreme power to draw a person in. When you see something really beautiful, it makes you care about it. And it makes you really, really curious to know what's behind that beautiful piece of art. And I think we probably all know that kids are already really curious. So we just need to figure out a way to harness that curiosity towards a specific cause. And I think art is a really amazing way to do that. Because once someone's curious, that is going to lead to knowledge. And knowledge is definitely our end goal here. And, you know, it's pretty easy to get knowledge from a textbook or from an article. 
But I think anybody here who has ever read a textbook knows that it's not the best way to make you really care about something. And I think art is a really amazing way to do that, and hopefully that's what my project will do. So this brings me to my project. It's a little hard to see for you guys, but these are some panels, some pages from my illustrated children's book. You can see them a little closer, closer later, maybe. So these hopefully will all come together to create one book. And this book is about a little girl who becomes friends with a whale. And over time, this whale starts to feel some of the effects of climate change. And what this whale does is he goes to his human friend for help. And so then this little girl works to change her own life, but she also works to change the lives of everyone in her community. And this is the big message that I'm trying to get across in my book, is that it's really, really important to think about your own decisions, but it's also really important to work to influence other people around you. And so the last thing that I want to leave you with is one last idea, which is that I don't know about you, but I do not believe in destiny. I believe in free will. And I think we all have a really important power to change the future. Um, so this can go several ways. We can all acknowledge that climate change is real, because I think probably you all acknowledge that climate change is real. But we can still sit back and not do anything about it. And this would be a real shame. I hope this doesn't happen. But the other option is that we acknowledge climate change is real, and we acknowledge how big of a threat it is, and we take responsibility for shaping the future. And I believe that this is what we will do. Um, I think we're already on the road to doing it, and so educating children is the next big step.